Hello, America and the world. Welcome to another episode of Life After Lockup. This is a program that is designed to show the public a different side of the criminal justice system. Before we get into our program today, I want to, as always, remind uh, the onlookers of the things that Life Community is doing in the, the city of Paducah, Kentucky. Every first Monday is what we call the Ex-Offender Support Group that meets in the Christ Temple Annex building at 5.30. That's every first Monday of the month. Every second and fourth Monday of the month, we have what we call Teen Eve, a program that is designed for teenagers ages 13 to 19. We have food, fun, and fellowship, and we have a special guest that comes in every, um, every Monday just to show them some different ways of how to live successful as teenagers. Every Tuesday at 1130, we have what we call the Life Saver class, a class that is designed to uh, help you with any life controlling issues, whether it's drugs, alcohol, uh, low self-esteem, uh, jealousy, unforgiveness, whatever it is, that class is designed to help you uh, with those issues to, move, to help you to move forward. Uh, we also want to let you know that we have uh, classes for married couples, classes for men, and cl classes also uh, for women. Uh, uh, these are our lifesaver classes, uh, the things in life community. If you need any uh, further information, call 270-575-3823, or you can always email us at lifecommunities at bellsouth.net. That's under Life Community, and again, today, this is our Life After Lockup program, our second program uh, for 2013, and we are bringing back, bringing back, back by popular demand, <laughs> bringing back our, our first guest, our brother uh, Roosevelt Pearson. And man, we, I'm glad to have you back today uh, for the second part of, of the program because you did such a, a, a great job of describing some of the things that you had uh, gone through in life, and I got so uh, caught up, I guess, with, uh, with your past and all the, the things that you had gone through that I didn't get enough time to kind of find out wh where you made the switch, when things began to turn around uh, for you, because you, you spent uh, about 26 years in prison, off and on, of yes, 26 sir. years of your life, off and on. So uh, what, what we want to know, and, um, and I'm sure what the, what the, the, what the public want to know, is when did you uh, turn around? What happened in your life? That, that caused you to, to maybe change directions? Well, <coughs> first of all, thank you. All right, no problem, Rand, no problem. Uh, you know, <coughs> what changed my life was that the, when I was on the uh, nut ward, <laughs> nut ward. <laughs> you know, come when you say asylum, okay. uh, coming off withdrawals from the morphine. Mm. And I knew that if I left there, I was going to die. Oh, wow. And I asked God to please help me. Mm -hmm. And I ended up in Paducah, Kentucky at Center Point Recovery Center. Wow. So uh, it took me a while to, you know, to uh, clear my mind. Because, mm -hmm. see, the mind has to be cleared before yes. any kind of change. And uh, in the course of that, uh, the withdrawals and, and uh, just... You know, just it, it takes time mm -hmm. when you've been indulged in drugs for so long. Yes. Your body takes time to heal. Mm -hmm. And uh, it took me about uh, almost 21 to 22 days okay. for my mind to clear. Mm -hmm. And <coughs> then I started uh, going to the classes. Okay, this is at, know, at center point. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, sir. And, uh, you know, uh, they introduced me to the 12 steps. Okay. And, and through the 12 steps, I found a God in my understanding. Okay. The okay. same God that I asked to help me. Right. And, uh, and one of the things in our 11th step, it says prayer and meditation, mm -hmm. you know, uh, to improve your conscious contact with God. Right. And, and, you know, as you get into the literature, one of the things it says that no human power could relieve me of my drug addiction or alcoholism but God could and would if he was sought. Okay. So the, when I start seeking God diligently, my life started to change, All right. man. All right. A, as I told you guys before, uh, I'm a recovery dynamics instructor now, certified. Mm -hmm. Right. But also Centerpoint opened doors for me to bring resources in to the, uh, to the building and exposure. 
and that's how I met you uh -huh. when I invited you over for lunch. Mm -hmm. So in the course of that, uh, you know, the mayor of uh, Paducah has mm -hmm. been there. Uh, you, uh, uh, Senator uh, Bill Cunningham, mm -hmm. the Supreme Court judge, you know, um, all these people that, you know, who would ever think all right. all that, you know, uh, I got this uh, uh, Supreme Court judge, Senator's <laughs> phone number. All right. And, 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 and when he number. sent me uh, his postcard mm. out of the seven judges, one of them sitting in the middle had gave me seven years. Wow. You see the wow. the difference there. Yes. And, and you know, I honor that uh, postcard that he sent me. Mm. Uh, you know, I, I came here by way of a Class D program in mm. Wycliffe, Kentucky. Mm. The same jailer that picked me up from Ameri a Marion Adjustment Center is now my friend. Ain't that something? The same jail that <coughs> um, I had to, zzz, you know, mm -hmm. get strip searched in. Mm -hmm. I can go inside there now. Wow. Uh, wow. Without being strip searched. Um, and I have lunch with the jailer mm -hmm. uh, uh, in Ballard County, uh, the center, uh, me and the mayor. You know, saying that these people that I met mm -hmm. while I was incarcerated have seen the things, how I changed my life around. Mm -hmm. And uh, they asked me, what should they do? if uh, some of the family members is going through what I've been through. Wow. So, uh, you know, the change came, man, from uh, a spiritual experience. Man. Right. Now, let me ask you this, because I, I, I preached a message one time that was called, uh, I'm Sick of This. Do you feel like you had to basically get just sick and tired of being sick and tired? That, that, I mean, that, that, was there a point where you just decided that I'm, I'm through with this way of life? It came to the point where it was life or death. Okay. You know, because see, when you under, when, when you're, your obsession, mm. this obsession is far greater that outweighs understanding of all reality. Right, right. So um, I've been sick and tired a whole lot. Okay. But the obsession, would rely, uh, allow me, when I said that no human power could relieve me, right. I meant that. Right, right, And right. so, uh, you know, through the course <coughs> of, like I said, my conscious contact with God and my understanding today, uh, you know, the, uh, I've been, uh, it's a uh, job interview for drug court, pen mentor. Uh, I didn't have the adequate time mm -hmm. that it required, but the people seemed fit for me to, to apply for the job anyway. anyway. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, um, a lot of doors have been open for me. Right here at Western, at the Western Kentucky, right. uh, we was bringing uh, residents from Center Point to do uh, GED mm -hmm. testing. Mm -hmm. Out of the 16 guys that I brought, 14 of them got their GED. Wow. And the oldest was... Uh, 58 years old, wow, and wow. the youngest was seven, 18. Mm, mm, so mm. in the course of that, um, I was like the monitor. Okay. So I didn't take classes, but I was able to interact with Miss Allman, mm. Dr. Owens, uh, Miss Lisa, Miss Mary Beth, mm. who are influential people here. Mm. Uh, they deal with uh, Miss Paula is a, um, you know, she she is a consultant on careers, okay. getting your career back. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I've spoken here at the college to wow. uh, the GED class of New Beginnings. Wow. Uh, I've spoken down in uh, Mayfield, uh, Fancy Farm, mm -hmm. here in Paducah. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, uh, I speak in uh, with the Kentucky Friday night. Wow. So, wow. Uh, you know, wow. I carry this message of... Um, you know, what, where I come from mm -hmm. and what I do today. Right, right, and, and, right. And when you say, uh, you know, what it, that we're, we're, uh, I'm involved with uh, fundraising at uh, Center Point Recovery Center. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing a chili cook-off on the 16th. And uh, they trust me with, uh, I'm doing a TV raffle mm -hmm. where I keep all the money. All you right. know? And uh, all right. so I usually, wow. uh, we have silent auctions where I've been to Patty's, uh, uh, the restaurant, and the uh, 
the hotel, mm. and they both gave me rooms and wow. gift packages. Uh, wow. Mary Kay Cosmetics, mm. uh, um, the car washes, Bud's Car Lot, and and the list just <laughs> goes on and on. So so but basically, what what is happening, man? And I'm and I'm I'm getting I'm always just intrigued because uh, just the idea of how much time you spent. Uh, not only in jails and prisons, but how much time you spent um, with uh, abusing drugs, with, uh, with all that, that would seem like, it's almost like would be impossible to turn your life around. But, but, but you have not only been, uh, turned your life around, but you are helping other people to know the possibilities of change. And, and if anybody knows that, you should know, yes, because uh, when they say when God frees you, mm -hmm. you free indeed. You free, you free. And, and so I had to get free, man, because <coughs> mm. see, people think that you don't have to be in prison to mm. be locked up that's in your true. mind. That's for sure. And that's and so sure. see the mind, as I told you, it had to be cleared. Mm. And so the same zeal that I had for the hustle and the lifestyle that I was living, I f I flipped it. Okay, you that's know, good. so the that's same good. thing. I had to flip the same zeal that I had for chasing narcotics mm -hmm. is the same zeal I have of trying to carry this message wow. to the sick and suffering alcoholics or drug addicts. The same zeal that I have hustling and things. I the same zeal that when I go out and network for Center Point Recovery Center. Mm -hmm. It's the same. It's a, it's just a different using it, it, a it in a different it's, way. It's positive. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cause see, there's a negative and there's a positive mm -hmm. side. Just like there's a higher power and a lower power. Right. And and so you have to be above all of that. Mm -hmm. And 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 you know, uh, prayer, man, and oh, meditation, man. Cause you know, uh, even to this day, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I was a five-star general for Satan, man. Yeah, oh, you, tell you, me about you know, it. And so, uh, you know, he ain't happy. <laughs> and <laughs> no. so just because I'm here doing this television program, mm -hmm. I could go out, walk out here today, and he's going to hit me with yes, his sir. best. Yes, sir. So, yes, you sir. know, I have to have on full armor every day. Uh, we're going uh, today. I've been invited to a drug court uh, celebration, mm -hmm. uh, their uh, graduation today. Right. And right. these things, you know, p places, people are inviting me wow. places. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not from Purdue, Kentucky. Mm. But, you know, we never know who's watching That's us. true. That's true. And so uh, people are asking for me to uh, uh, get involved in something, uh, a fundraiser, or can you come talk to my son? Right, uh, right. You know, I, I was in the uh, Ballard uh, County down in Wycliffe with uh, the county attorney mm -hmm. and a judge trying to get a young man into uh, our facility. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, if the if you're not ready, you're not ready. You're not ready. That's true. So, you know, I used to get um, baffled mm -hmm. with, you know, why can't you get this? Right, why right. Why can't you get this? <laughs> right. But uh, through uh, it's my experience in uh, the field that I'm in, all I'm responsible for is carrying the message, carrying the message. That's and, and, that's and God has the rest. So, you know, when you, when you're talking about um, going into, uh, I can go in a store today. Mm -hmm. I can go into a business today mm -hmm. and give them my business card, peer mm -hmm. mentor uh, from uh, Center Point Recovery Center, mm -hmm. and I don't have to con, manipulate, right. or steal. Right. right. All I have right. to do is. Uh, Present what the cause is. Exactly. You know, we we putting on a uh, golf scramble in May. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a participant in that. We where uh, I go out into the public and I get things donated mm -hmm. for us to keep our uh, facility with some of the things that's necessary for the run. Like we have uh, dental, mm -hmm. eye care. Mm -hmm. um, we have literature where. You know, you can even go to college through that. Wow. So we provide medicine, and s the government, you know, uh, you know, as you know, mm -hmm. uh, they're c doing a lot of c budget cuts. Yeah, of course. So, so uh, I take uh, highly, highly interest mm -hmm. in a place to save my life. Exactly. And so exactly. it's nothing for me 
to go into a place and to and tell them what this place done for me mm -hmm. and then how we continue because when you tell a, 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 a business or an organization where you come from right. and they see you here clean cut mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. presentable and and not with the uh, uh, language right see I had to right. learn how to talk again mm, I had to boy, learn how good. to dress again I had to learn how to carry myself as a citizen okay that's good and not a thug okay, that's good that's you know, real good so Man. uh you know that's changed by itself mm -hmm. and 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 the people that I hang around today like yourself mm -hmm. and a few other uh, spiritual advisors that I have and people in recovery mm -hmm. because you are what you're around yeah right? oh man you how know, important and, is that and, that is and so as important. one of your servants said uh, shine no matter what no matter what you know I, I, I life on life's terms man mm -hmm. uh, when you so used to stuff and everything mm -hmm. You know, that's I'm like a babe. Right. But right, the more right. I grow, it says when I thought when I was a child, I thought, I thought like, like a child. A child. Mm -hmm. But when I became a man, I'm, I'm start thinking like a man. That's good. The man. choices and decisions I make today mm. will have the outcome on my life. Exactly. Exactly. And exactly. any what I did today or for the last 18 months. Mm -hmm. Because one bad choice well, that's right. will kill all that. That's right. That's right. And, and you were saying something um, about, I think on, on the way over here, about who, um, hanging around a certain kind of thing or some things you just uh, are not going to do. No. Some, it's like yeah. you can't, you, you won't even, even, even allow yourself to be put in certain surroundings again. Mm. You know, because, because all that's going to do is trigger stuff and cause more bad behavior. Right, and and see the thing is with with alcoholism and drug addiction, you have to change everything. Everything, you know, ain't a everything. little bit here. It right. says I had to let go of the old ideas. Absolutely, mm. and, you know, absolutely mm. means nothing. Nothing. And wow. so, how do you do that? You have to hang around people to help you to m more or less filter your thinking. Yes, that's good. You know, mm -hmm. so you know. Uh, one of the this disease centers in the mind, mm, 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 and so yeah. if I'm not changing the mind, if I don't change my ways, mm, mm, mm. well, let me rephrase it. If I don't change my thinking, mm. I don't change my ways. That's exactly if right. If I don't change my actions, I don't change my life. That's right. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's good. So uh, you right know, uh, uh, I have to be mindful mm, of mm, my mm. intake. That's right. That's right. I have to be mindful of my that intake. So. Right. so I can't, negative is what this disease desires. Mm -hmm. It feeds on it. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I had to be, uh, keep myself in positive mode, and I had to stay doing positive things. Man, that, that's what I was really get, getting ready to ask you, too, but you, you kind of, you said it. How important is you working with uh, Centerpoint, you know, you doing all of these meetings and setting up, how important is that to your recovery? Man, it's the center. Mm. You know, it's God my recovery mm. and self. Because mm. see, the, the, uh, the, way the only th way to keep what you have mm -hmm. is by giving it to somebody else. All right. See, he didn't clean me up to, to for me to keep this. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. He cleaned me up where I can go share this right. with another human being. That's right. And any time right. that I feel uh, like baffled or, or having a frustrating day, mm -hmm. the, and, and one of the things it tells me to do is go find somebody to help. All right, that's so good. You know, that so is that's so how good. I I keep that mentality, that negative mm -hmm. mentality, away from me, because, you know, when you get to doing stuff so long, like you, you yourself, you mm -hmm. come out of this environment, mm -hmm. and you do things repetitiously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do this repetitiously, right. man. Right. I wake right. up, I pray, mm -hmm. and I pray that God use me. As he see fit today. Right today, I like that. Today, today. that's yeah, it. Today. Day at a time. That's yeah, what I do. today. And so, uh, you know, he's always sending work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you know, you ain't got to worry about no work when you work for God. <laughs> that's right. He's so always he's always it. sending work. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, our facility, uh, you know, um, we house over a hundred and fifteen guys. Mm -hmm. Some days it may be more. 
Wow. And so, wow. you know, we got them coming in the door, out the door, and in the, out hmm. the door. So I'm busy You're up with this message. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I did a class today on self and self-will. Mm. You know, there's two choices there. Yeah. Self and self-will. Mm. And one of the things that uh, I expressed to them, because when I turned my life over to the care of God as I understood him, mm -hmm. I came to a conclusion. All right, all right. See, I had to come to a conclusion mm -hmm. that when it says, when I turn my life over to his care with complete abandonment, mm. that means I had to trust him Ooh, yes. to do what he said yeah. he was going to yeah. do. Yeah. You yeah. know, God has promises. If you read the book, oh, yeah. oh, you'll yeah. find that he oh, has yeah. promises, oh, yeah. and he don't break his he don't word. Break it. And, and see, one of the things that I, because I'm, I'm, I'm just loving this, man, I'm just sucking up, sucking up all of this, and it just reminded me so much of, of, of me, because I got out of prison in 1987, and doing exactly what you're saying, one day at a time, one day at a time, and trusting God. It, it was a big step for me just to, because I've been my own boss yeah. for so long. I've been making my own decisions. <laughs> but, you know, I realized that me making my decisions got me a 12-year prison sentence. Right. So, evidently, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I had to learn to trust somebody that had all power. And then, and, 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 and I'm looking at you, man. I'm, I'm watching. I'm, I'm seeing how valuable you are to the, to the, to the, to the world out there that's, that's struggling, that don't know whether they can make it or not. They're struggling, don't know whether they have any hope uh, of ever changing. And, and you had a, almost over half of your life uh, stuck in a, in a, in a rut. Sure. And, and when you started trusting God, and, and look, man, if you didn't tell me, I would never uh, imagine that you've gone through some of the stuff that you've gone through, if, if you wouldn't tell me. But you talking and, and, and being here on, on this program, the people that, that's, gonna, that's gonna see you, whether it's on YouTube or whatever, all that it's doing is giving somebody hope. And, and, and that's all people need. I, I remember sitting in prison and a lot of preachers was coming in that had never been to prison. But one guy came in that had been to prison that gave me hope, that gave me hope, made me know that there was life after this. And what, what you're doing, uh, all the, 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 the uh, speaking engagements, the uh, meeting people, because you don't know whether the mayor or whether the, the judge has people in their families that are, are, are struggling with drugs. Right. And to see you and to <coughs> see your recovery gives them hope. You know, it's funny you say that. I was, Valentine's Day, I went to a flower shop mm. and I was talking to a lady and we got to talking and she wanted, you know, one thing led to another, but uh, we got to talking about recovery. Mm. And when I left out of there, I tried to pay her, and she wouldn't take the money. Wow! <laughs> wow! And uh, I got the most beautiful flower arrangements that any man can send anybody. Oh wow! Sent to uh, you know, and and these things, man, that we never know who's watching, we never know. and we never know who we're entertaining. Exactly. So it says, be careful how you treat people because you never know who you're entertaining. Exactly right. And, 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 and if he, he said, when you're an ambassador for Christ, mm -hmm. we, we, we glorify him no matter if we even at the Wendy's. Exactly. You know, <laughs> we speak, and, we, and, we, we living and, for and, him. And, 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 and we have a glow about us mm -hmm. that, you know, people can see. Like you said, you, didn't, you couldn't believe that if, if you heard the information we had in the first half, this brother couldn't have did all that. Right, right. And, and, and that's what he does, man. That, that's it's exactly what he does. And one of the things, Pastor, that I want you to know, it's the inside Yes, out. sir. Yes, sir. See, because yes, we sir. can clean out the outside and you talk we to can you be, we, 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 it's like a, a chameleon. Mm -hmm. You know, we can. Learn to adapt. Can, yeah, we mm -hmm. learn. And see, I'm through adapting. Good. Man. You know, I'm through adapting. If, if it says all that, when you're in Rome, act like the mm -hmm. Romans. Well, I didn't like going to the hole. <laughs> right. So I could adapt to mm -hmm. the, uh, the prison system. Right, right. But now I'm out here in life. Right. And you know, um, I'm not adapting, I'm living life. Living life, life man. That's a, yeah. man. That's a wonderful thing, <laughs> yeah. man. It's a wonderful thing, yeah, man. It's a wonderful yeah. thing. I want to, because we only got probably about two or three minutes left, but, I, but I'm, I'm, I'm just so grateful, man, because your testimony, what, what you do, and that's, 
uh, and what you're doing now, S sometimes we can get embarrassed. People have gotten embarrassed about their past. People have gotten embarrassed. They don't want to share it with anybody. But I have learned, and sometimes it just comes out of my mouth. It it's not like I'm even planning it, but it comes out of my mouth because it's glorifying God. It's not glorifying my past or putting my past uh, up in some type of display, but it's really glorifying God. Look at what God can do. And, 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 and when I look at you, man, I see God has blessed you so far beyond where you've come from that you, there's no resemblance. There's no resemblance. How, what you're saying about how you had to learn how to talk again, learn how to dress again, learn how to carry yourself again, and you're doing it. <laughs> you, you, you're, you're doing it, man. I mean, you are, are a great representative of, of where a person can come from and what a person can, can do with their, with their life right now. Is there, we got about two minutes. Is there, is there anything else that you want to share with, with, with the listeners or anything else? Uh, I can tell you this. If, if someone's in your family, mm -hmm. don't give up on them. Good. Just pray for them. I, my mother, she was a praying woman. Mm, good. And uh, my sister was a praying woman. Mm, mm, mm. They didn't stop. It says cease. Mm, no mm, prayer mm. without ceasing. ceasing. That's right. And they prayed, man. Mm, and mm, uh, mm. you know, uh, so if you have a family member that's going through some things, don't give up on mm, them. Mm, mm, but don't love them to death either. That's good. You know, sometimes you have to have some tough love, tough back love, off a little bit, and, 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 and give God a chance to work on them. That's it. And, mm, and mm, uh, mm. I definitely want to thank. Uh, the recovery center saved my life, mm, mm, and mm. I think the the staff there that allows me to come and do things like this, and the trust that they have in me, because I have a key, the keys to a four point five million dollar facility. Wow, I got keys something. to everything, you know? that's something, and man. so they trust me with that. Man, God and bless you so much, man. Thank God you, bless sir. you so yeah. much, man. Continue success, and as long as you keep trusting God, you can't go wrong. God bless you so much. Thank you for watching Life After Lockup. God bless you, and you have a marvelous day.